as far as I'm concerned. Well, P.W. Butter in 1981, or just before that, said in one of his speeches, we must adapt or die, which became the title of my first show. Last year, a spokesperson for the NC Youth League um, shouted, shouted abuse at everybody for criticizing the Youth League and said, if white people don't like it, they can adapt or fly. <laughs> I just thought, thank you for the title. So it's ironic that 30 years between the two of them, the government or the people in power in positions of political control up to a point has, have given me titles. So I keep on saying they write my material. I don't pay taxes, I pay royalties. So I'm, thank you. <laughs> I knew nothing about apartheid. I'm as shocked as you. <laughs> I just hung um, it's, it's really different uh, now than it was in the old days. In the old days, I had to talk for many people who had no voice. Millions of people had no voice. So I had to represent a point of view through humor, hoping that the humor would actually disguise the fact that one was breaking the law by putting this information across. Today, I speak for myself. I don't speak for anybody. Uh, I'm white. I don't want to stand on stage and criticize a black politician, I want to be a South African commenting on bad politics. But I really truly have to take responsibility for everything I say. Sweat little suffer, what no coolie ditta ditta in a coffer. I use characters who originated during the apartheid years who are now still with us, still here, who are now very involved with the democracy. <laughs> What am I? I'm an entertainer. I don't want to change minds because that's very cheeky. You know, I don't want to change political thought through my work because, good Lord, the only time the theatre changed history was when they shot Abraham Lincoln in the theatre. But entertainment can also educate. And South Africans have got, have always had a sense of humour. I mean, please, we're here because the majority of our people who were completely destroyed by the apartheid system have given us a second chance with a smile. Nelson Mandela used his extraordinary sense of humor to change the world. You know, I think, I think we've, people will say, you know, are you, are you teaching people to love themselves? Oh, come on. Everybody has got a sense of humor. It's just that some people need to rediscover it and find it. And I, as the chairperson of the media tribunal, I've always said this and I will say it again, I will make sure that there is freedom of speech in South Africa. It is just after speech that freedom goes. Oh, please. Protection of State Information Act. They must be joking. Do they actually think that we are going to let them get away with it without making us laugh at them? I mean, the, the day comes out, I'm going to split lots of secrets. What, are they going to lock me up? When I've got a red nose and funny hat on? Oh, come on, they must also grow up. However, the biggest problem is self-censorship. The biggest problem is, is the mere fact that we're talking about it as a threat is dangerous. I think Julius Malema is exactly what our democracy deserves at this time. It's very healthy. Uh, the fact that he's rattled the old lion's cage and the fat lions have all woken up. Good. South Africa was being ruled by an old liberation movement pretending to be government. They cannot do that anymore. They have to become a government that listens to what the people want. Everything that Malema said in, in, in broad sweeps, everything is important to listen to. The poverty, the need for economic empowerment, everything he says. Where do I stand on him? Listen, I want him around. He's damn good material. I think your future depends on you, your future. There isn't, you know, one keeps on talking as a general thing, the future of South Africa. There is no such thing. Each South African has a future in South Africa. And if we don't focus on what we expect for that future, it's not going to happen for us. Uh, and if there are so many of us who are disappointed, then our future is going to be disappointing.